Hi, it's Miss Donna with Raleigh Parks, Recreation, and Cultural Resources. This video is part of our At Home with Nature series, Feathered Friends. We're going to hear a story. It's going to celebrate birds. <laughs> our story is called The Bird Alphabet Book. And it was written by Jerry Pilata and it was illustrated by Edgar Stewart. In the story, we're going to hear about and learn about lots of different kinds of birds that live all over the world. Get ready. Our story begins like this. A. A is for Atlantic Puffin. Atlantic Puffins have colorful beaks. They live on the ocean almost all year. And when nesting on land, they're found in groups called colonies. B. B is for bat. Hey, wait a second. Bats are not birds. Pets are mammals. Even though they have wings and they can fly, they do not have feathers. Get out of this book, you bats. Now that the bats are gone, let's find a bird whose name begins with the letter B. B. B is for blue-footed booby. Boobies are seabirds. They can be found eating fish, which they catch by diving into the ocean. The other bird on this page is a red-footed booby. C. C is for crocodile bird. Crocodile birds fly right into the open mouths of crocodiles. They eat the leftover food found around the crocodile's teeth. The bird always has something to eat and the crocodile has clean teeth. D. D is for duck. There are many different kinds of ducks. There are wood ducks and mallards and pintails and black ducks and harlequin ducks and canvas backs and ruddy ducks and masked ducks and ring neck ducks <laughs> and many more. <laughs> e. e is for eagle. These eagles are bald eagles, but they're not really bald. Their heads are covered with beautiful white feathers. The bald eagle is the national emblem of the United States, and it can be seen on the back of a quarter and a dollar bill. F. F is for flamingo. Flamingos have very long necks and very long legs. Their beaks are curved, and sometimes they like to stand on one leg. G. G is for gosling. Goslings are baby geese. And when they're young, they like to follow their parents around. The birds on this page are called Canada geese. H. H is for hummingbird. Hummingbirds are tiny birds that fly really fast. Their long beaks are perfect for sucking nectar out of flowers. I. I is for indigo bunting. The male indigo bunting is beautifully bright blue from its head to the tip of its tail. The female is plain colored so that it is hard to find when it sits on its nest. J. J is for Jacana. Wow, what big feet! Jacanas have feet that are just right for standing on lily pads. They're also called lily trotters. K. K is for kiwi. The kiwi is a bird that cannot fly. It has wings, it lays eggs, it has a beak, and it has feathers just like other birds. But if it wants to go somewhere, it has to walk. L. L is for lovebird. These birds are very colorful. They're called lovebirds because they like to sit close together. They usually look like they're hugging and kissing each other. M. M is for meadowlark. Meadowlarks build their hard-to-find nests on the ground. People love meadowlarks because they sing cheerfully for hours at a time. N. N is for Northern Cardinal. This is one of the few birds that is almost entirely red. Sometimes it is simply called a red bird. O. O is for Oyster Catcher. This bird is able to stick its beak into oysters and clams and pry them open. It lives near coastal mud flats where it can find plenty of shellfish to eat. P. P is for penguin. Penguins cannot fly in the sky, but it is fun to watch them swim because it looks like they're flying when they're underwater. Q. Q is for Quetzal. 
The Quetzal is a bright green bird with an extremely long tail. It is found in Central America. Because there are so few of these birds, they're considered to be an endangered species. R. R is for Roadrunner. Roadrunners can fly when they want to, but they usually prefer to run. Roadrunners live in the desert and they chase and catch little lizards for food. S. S is for Spoonbill. Can you believe it? This bird has a bill that looks just like a spoon. The baby spoonbills do not grow their wide spoon-shaped bills until they get older. T. T is for toucan. The toucan has a very long and wide beak. Its beak is so big that you might think a toucan would not be able to fly. However, the beak is really not very heavy. U. U is for umbrella bird. This is a black jungle bird. The feathers around the top of its head are shaped like an umbrella. But when it rains, the umbrella does not keep its head dry. V. V is for vulture. Vultures have hardly any feathers on their heads. Maybe vultures are the birds that should be called bald. W. W is for a white-faced scox owl. This owl lives in Africa. It hides in trees, waiting for a chance to swoop down on insects and other small creatures. Owls make very little noise when they fly. X. X is for Xenops. This is probably the only bird whose name begins with an X. Unlike most birds, the Xenops has a beak that is curved upwards. Y. Y is for yellow-bellied sapsucker. The yellow-bellied sapsucker is a woodpecker that got its name because it drinks sap out of its favorite trees. It has a tongue with a brush-like tip. Z. Z is for zillions of zebra finches. These Australian birds have pretty black and white striped tails. The end.